my dream for me uh, is to play for Barcelona and Spain. We're looking for a very specific type of kid, right? And, and a boy who, who loves the game, right? Because, um, again, we always tell the players when they're considering coming in here, it has to be a good fit for you, but, you know, obviously it has to be a good fit for us. We're surrounded by desert, so it's kind of like our, our little own island, um, which actually has worked as a, a good advantage for us just because, you know, there's no distractions really off campus. Um, we're 100% focused on the game and, and the day-to-day. You know, 15 years old, you're moving away from mom, dad, family, friends, high school. Your most important years of your life, at that, at that standpoint in your life, you're sacrificing to come live in the desert. I think in the end, it's all, it's all worth it, just because this is what I've wanted pretty much my whole life. The level of soccer is so high here. The talent that is in this academy is insane. The work rate, the players, the people, the coaching staff, it's, it's unmatched. I mean, the players they've produced, Caden Clark, Matthew Hoppe, Julian Araujo. They look at those guys as almost idols, right? So what we've done to try and really build that culture and have it, you know, trickle down from top to bottom in the academy is we've got a little bit of a mentorship program here. So the, you know, the young, the younger players, you know, are assigned essentially an older player that will come and, you know, watch them in training. With all these people around, they really helped me um, improve and like, you know, they helped me out because I was so young because you know we can make these decisions you know not one size fit, fits all because it's not like that with with you know development you know these guys are gonna at times you know they're gonna go backwards forward sideways when adversity kicks in the the natural thing to do is is to maybe shy away from it and I think players that embrace it and step into it and try and push through the adversity you know I think that's what really develops the the next level players and the guys that we're looking for to you know to really thrive in this environment and if they go on to have a professional career, amazing. And, every, and they'll know that 150 people in Casa Grande in the middle of nowhere will be cheering them on and, and having their backs. It, it's the relationships, it's the people that, that make this place tick. Across the board, not only on the field, but, but off it as well. I mean, the, the resident life staff do a, a tremendous job in, in allowing the guys to still be teenagers and still be boys and, and, and really not only develop on the field, but off it as well. Not that I used to shut people out or anything, but I feel like I'm much more accepting to others and their situations because everyone here is at different financial situations. They've been through stuff that other kids haven't been through. There's kids that have never had to go through work a day in their lives and there's kids that's worked 10 to 12 hours a day in their lives. It's, everyone here is different. And I feel like this has helped me as a player because on the field, you're playing with 10 other people that are playing different positions from you. And understanding their positions will always help you understand yours much better. And I feel like that goes from being a player and from being a good human being. That's our main objective here. Encourage our players to become better players, better citizens. Everything for the, for the boys isn't a plan that, you know, a lot goes on behind the, behind the scenes and, and you know, Xavi, Bravo, and Juanma, you know, our two techno directors are amazing in, set, in the sense of setting the foundation of this is how La Masia works, so this is how we're going to work. We, we love the ball. It's like we have a lot of fun when we, we have the ball. It's like when we have the ball, we're going to recover the ball as soon as possible. It's like we are not taking like a defense attack. We just want to possess the ball, have the ball as much time as possible with us and share it, share it. We have, like I say, we have fun when we share the ball, when we, that's the moment that we enjoy the most. And I think that, of course, like when you are practicing every single day with the ball, you, you become better with, with the ball. We just want to dictate what is going to happen on the field. Everybody wants the, the rewards yesterday, right? Everybody wants to be at the, you know, offered the, the best college position or offered a professional contract, you know, immediately, right? Or, or, or when they come into our environment, it's, you know, everybody wants to be on the top team. Everybody wants to be on the MLS team. And, and sometimes it, it's a process. Sometimes it's, you know, you've got to come in and, and you know, learn the system. It is a new system. Learn the, the, the style of play, you know. And again, if you perform well and you embrace it and you work hard with it, you know, those chances will be given to those guys that, you know, that put that effort in and put that work in and, and almost match up to the core values. And the fact that they're living together, you know, going to school together, they, they spend 24 seven with each other. It just really creates a, a unique bond that I think you struggle to, you know, recreate at any other academy.